Hi everyone. This video we are going to discuss about robotic process automation, RPA single bot and multi bot architecture. When we talk about single bot with multi bot, single bot versus multi bot. Think through, you have in your project, you have five process, assume five process or two process, whatever it is. In two process, you are running two bots, that is single. One bot using, one bot means one license. On RPA or your bot turner machine license with a single process that is single bot. Think through that you have three process, one bot that also remain single bot. But sometime we worked through on one project on process that is that while volume of the process has every day more than 50,000 accounts so in that case single license with a single bot cannot proceed 50,000 records so average handling time for the record is 10 minutes so it will not handle or else it will not complete the SLA within a timeline so we used more than 10 bots for a single process to complete the account details within a timeline so that in that case multi bot will come into the picture if you have 5 lakhs records you want to be complete within a day even 24 hours if you run as well it will not complete your single bot assume your average card in time for the particular record has 5 minutes 2 lakh and 50 thousand records it's not possible within 24 hours as well in that case if I use multiple licenses which means I I got five license for the single process and I'm running on it how it will work so when we talk about multi part in a single process Think through that you have a bad database. Your all 2 lakh and 25,000 records has been updated in database. The first initial status of your all the 2 lakh and 50,000 records has not started. Assume that. So, first but going and picking the top most record which is not started if it is once your bot has taken that record then it has to change the record as not started to in progress the queue will be changed here in that case how it will move the first bot with the first record started with the process so then the second bot will come into the picture the same time it will go and look into the database which is not started so it will pick the top most data every time the every bot think about 20 bots in a process the same it will continue once it is completed then probably it make us completed other bot will will not touch into 
previous parts record <coughs> but this type of multi-part concept will work out only for windows based applications think through that if you are moving through a gate of web applications maybe one user or two user can log in and log out if you have multiple users in that case how the bot behavior is different because every bot will get into separate login logout in that case the application behavior will be different we can talk more about multi bot now when you talk about bot how bot will work work out in automation anywhere the architecture a bot is all about runner access in a machine when executing logs when executing all the task so bot probably connecting client as well as control room once you developed the bot it has to be uploaded into control room client is a interactive client between the bot and control room so if you talk about multi bot client and control room is remain same control room is remain same bot is maybe 2 or 3 or 5 or count will be changed client will be very based on the bot so when we talk about architecture how it will work when we talk about automation anywhere architecture it have only two components so before moving to multi bot or single bot so architecture is important to move ahead if doesn't aware of the complete architecture if you move into bot level structure it would be confused somewhere so when we talk about architectural point of view that control room and client both are main architecture if client is task creator and control room is uploaded when we talk about control room that is user management audit trail credential vault dashboard task scheduling everything it will be containing in a single batch when you talk about client it's created script if client have like uh, any other automation tool more than 200 plus something commands it will write bots it will writing a logical flow the very execution will be debugging will be ca- happen through client think about that you have 10 client you have resource pc and a and client how it will connect through the number of clients with control room and the bot see all about it works with license so we can interlink our license with a single process we can interlink our license with multi process our interlink our license our single license with multiple process so many way it will work out with a but so when we talk about bot and multi bot this is the main difference a robot can run a single license and taken care by a process single process or multiple process 
we talk about multibot or multi robot robot running in multiple licenses and taking care multiple process or single complex kv load process in methodology wise we have two and one more thing we can do we can create multiple schedule for same or single robot think about that your process a robo 1 start at 12 am your process b robo 2 is start at 3 your process 3 robo 2 and start at 5 pm in that case you can run multiple process in a single robot if amount of work is very less so what is the purpose why we are moving to multibot i have 10 bots for 8 process none of the process need to be run 24 hours but they need to run several times per day in order to handle all work items in the assigned service level agreement so when we talk about uh, service level agreement suppose you are getting the project from client they have some sla they will set particular sla service level agreement if your defects are fixed they have some agreement within the target i have 24 hours time within the target my work has to complete the 100 percentage maybe think about that that is uh, your process is running monthly once with 10 lakh records within two days they are given the timeline uh, monday to tuesday monday and tuesday so in that case they will tell if it is not completed within 48 hours they missed out their sla so if they missed out their sla service level agreement probably client will we need to give the penalty to client because of we missed out their sla's so that the reason whenever we created automation in a process level we have to give the timeline my automation bot will complete within 20 hours for your entire process my average handling time is this much so you have to validate and you have to separate and you have to hand over to client in this case only how many part will work how many license how how much hours um, what are all the schedules so everything it will combine on it These are the purpose of multibot and multi robot. Okay, when we talk about designing, we have to design in many ways. Before designing, the license part will work. After license completed, we have to think through how your concept is or how your process is going on some client they will not accept database because they have client controlled data or client specific user specific data in that case everything it will come up with a excel or csv format you have to maintain and validate on it in this case it will be very tough if you making multi-part concept if you go through multi robots that is database sql or oracle or sqlite database is very much good to get the designing we'll see some more details in our next video how to design multi boards what are the ways we can design which design will work out which pattern of design will work out 
so we'll see more in our next video thanks guys thanks for watching this